This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I want to catch you guys up because it's been a while since I've uploaded a video to share with you guys and there are many, many reasons for that. One of which is we all got sick. Um, we were pretty under the weather and it was not COVID uh, but it was something contagious and it went through the whole family and it's been a couple of weeks now and some of the symptoms are lingering and in fact we got our in-laws sick and my in-laws anyway. And anyway, so everyone's feeling much better now so I'm back to my normal self and then we had some um, some business stuff happened that I had to take care of that I just didn't have any time and I've been sitting on this bouquet bar video for over a week now and I've been wanting to upload it but there were some audio issues it was a really windy day and I didn't have my new microphone hooked up the battery was dead and it was charging so I was using the camera microphone and it was just so loud and windy that I did actually have to take some time to correct the audio what you're going to watch was recorded two Fridays ago, so about a week and a half ago, and it was the final bouquet bar of the spring, and it was the last of the ranunculus. It is now completely gone. Ah! It was very sad to see it go. But anyway, here is the big bouquet bar of the spring, some clips of that, and then later on at the end of the video, I'll come back on here and talk about pricing for bouquet bars and how I do my pricing and how it might be different um, than other places. Here's the bouquet bar. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I'm on the porch for the bouquet bar. Today's bouquet bar includes a ranunculus, cress, some snapdragons, some peonies, to be honest with you, there's like five or six peonies, and then stock, did I say stock? And a few anemones, um, but that's about it. A lot of ranunculus though, buckets and buckets of ranunculus. And I don't have my microphone on because it's charging right now, so I'm using the camera microphone, so I apologize. It's windy out. So basically how this works is the customers come up on my porch and they go ahead and choose what they want and then they pay per stem. And then I take their money over here and I have my whole station set up with my bouquet cutter, my paper wraps, my stickers, my staplers, and that's about it. And then I obviously have my little bag of money and I take several forms of payment and most people though pay cash. That's just what they do. I harvested all these beauties in a video that I posted earlier in the week and here they are. I have been storing them in my cooler just overnight because I just harvested these yesterday. They are here and they look lovely. I do have to pull some out that maybe have a droopy head or some, some weren't in the water. So I just filled up the buckets with another few inches of water in each bucket. Hopefully that will um, make them perk up. There are two hours before people get here. So hopefully they'll perk up. Here is um, the, the crest. This is the greenery that I have today. Um, this is basically one stem and I'm going to be encouraging people to basically grab a stem or two of this and then build their bouquet around it. So, yay! If you missed the stock, here it is. It's amazing. It smells so good. Oh, it's so amazing. And as you can see, there are just um, several buckets of ranunculus. There's another table over here too. So lots to choose from lots of colors it's kind of be like whatever people are interested in they'll find it here they have taken Teresa's flowers <laughs> they're gorgeous i just love these so much they're so like soft and delicate they are <laughs> it was gonna go with orange and yellow but the pink I know, but I really love her combo over here too. Yeah, because of the dark really red in there. I love that. Mm, it smells so, so good. good. What's the cutest thing at this bouquet bar? Oh, there she is. It's Millie. This one is beautiful. They're eating, yes. 
And now more about the sponsor of today's video. It's Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. I've always been interested in learning more about hydroponics, growing things using just water. Insert this course from Caleb Johnson from Simple Greens. He goes over the basics of hydroponics, how to set up a simple system that he created with just a few basic tools. He also talks about the benefits of hydroponics like fewer pests and fewer diseases. This is sounding like a winter project for me. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and new classes are always being added. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description or my code Flower Hill Farm will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. Hi, Lily. Hi. We're gonna watch you make yours. Okay, I am looking for the ones that are the most closed in so I can love them the longest time. Well, just so you know, I also have some other smart shoppers who did the same thing. <gasps> But it's almost like they listen to your instructions. I know. <gasps> Look at this. Poppies. Poppies. <laughs> I have to get it. Come here to me. <gasps> okay. Yeah, that's not even open yet. <gasps> I don't know what color you're gonna be, but it's a I'm surprise. gonna adopt you anyway. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's my puppy song. Look how pretty. Okay, I need another yellow one though, because there's there's this like the greeny yellowy. I'm just grabbing all the ones that have a little pink. Here's another puppy. I just I want to just take them all, which I'm sure you would have zero objections to. Oh, I found more claws. Mm-hmm. Do you hear them? The ducky sounds are yes. the cutest. The chorus of of quacktasticness. Love. That one. What's this one? That's called Rainbow Quartet Stock. Okay. <laughs> I really like you. Apricot. Shocking, right? Mm. This one's called Vintage Brown. Look at that. Why is this oh still God. here? Why has no one chosen this one yet? I don't know, but oh, good. Throw her in. Is it pink? <laughs> Then it gets to come play. Look at this one. This looks like a little sunrise. I love it. This is not a sponsored Lowe's commercial. <laughs> That's perfect. One more, I think. But like. Yes. Are you? Walk down I, the aisle. Walk right? down the aisle. This is why I drove out because like I needed this in my life. Let me see. Um, do you know how popular mom cam was? Oh yeah? We're gonna yeah. have to bring mom cam back soon. I know, I'll, I'll do it again. All right, let's go prance in the peonies. Okay. Run, Renee, it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining. It's raining. I want you to stand there. Ooh, I love these, look how beautiful they are. Okay. How many are on these? <laughs> wow. Wow, we wow, wow. Hey, ladies. Wow. Look at these. Cool. What are these? Those are the anemones that I never oh, caught. Wow. Beautiful. That's ranunculus? That is chocolate ranunculus. Ooh. That's a pretty one. Taking those ones? Yeah. Heck yeah, I'm gonna add it to my thing. Ooh, look, more un More undeveloped larkspur. Oh, look at, the Orlea is um, oh, wow. really pretty too. So the bouquet bar is done. Cress is pretty much spent. So is the stock. There are, um, there's still maybe a dozen stems of the stock left, but, um, and then each bucket was pretty well rifled through. I think I sold I think about 25 bouquets this evening. So it was a pretty good day. 
So that clip was my mom's first time in the hoop house. She had not seen it. So she was excited to get in there. She, you know, I video chat with her every day, so she had seen it, but she actually hadn't physically walked in there. So that was exciting. And some of you might wonder about my peonies. I decided not really to cut for my peonies this year. I had some varieties that are three years old and they were still only shooting up one or two stems. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna give my peony field a rest this year, let it grow the roots, and then see what it does for the following year. So I did cut probably 20 to 30 stems for my CSA members off of some more robust varieties. I think the Bowl of Beauty was very robust this year, and I also had a couple of other randoms that were really throwing up a lot of eight to 10 stems, so I did cut a couple from those. I just didn't cut from it, in fact, um, some of them didn't even have a flower at all. So it's still a young field and I have 600 plants and I'm adding even more this fall. So I'm gonna kinda cover that entire area with peonies so I don't have to mow in between the rows. It's gonna be nice that way. Back to the bouquet bar pricing. So it's gonna be different because everyone lives in a different area. I live in an extremely small town, 2,000 people. People are not going to be paying top dollar for my flowers at my bouquet bar porch in a rural town. So I'm not selling my ranunculus stems for three, four dollars a piece like they sell retail, but I am selling them for a reasonable rate that I know my customers will pay and appreciate. I'm pricing them in a way that reflects my community and what I know people can pay. These are not wedding flowers. I mean, they could be, but people are not buying them for their wedding. They're not buying them for an event. They're buying them just to have something pretty on their table. So the way that I priced my ranunculus at my bouquet bar, customers were able to choose 12 stems of anything, the stock and the ranunculus, and 12 stems was a $20 bouquet. So that was what people were able to do. Pick and choose, make their own, and 12 stems, whatever it was, except for the crest that was three for one, like three stems of crest equaled one stem. No, it was actually um, 14 stems for $20. I had 12 stems for $20 and I made a 12 stem bouquet and I felt like it, it was lacking, so I increased it to 14 stems. So anyway, that was the price point that was reasonable for my area. You guys might live in a completely different area where you can charge $4 a stem for a ranunculus and people will be willing to pay that. You have to gauge your community. You have to realize what people are going to be willing to pay. And it's different for everything. When I'm in the like late summer and I have a whole bunch of different flowers like zinnias and snapdragons and sunflowers and gladiolas and dahlias, all of those things are priced differently. It's not a you know 12 stems for $20 type thing. It's uh, everything is priced differently. And the way that I do that usually is I go onto the wholesale website. The best way you can see what flowers are selling for, at least at the wholesale level, is to become a member or a customer of your local wholesaler. I've done that with a couple of different wholesalers so that I can see their price lists. I know what the wholesalers are selling them for. So when you're selling retail, obviously you can bump it up a little bit. So that's the best advice I can give you is to join a wholesaler's email list, become a customer, get on their list. That way you can see what the flowers in your area are selling for. And even that sometimes, because the two that I have locally, they're both about an hour and a half from me in different directions, and they are much bigger cities. So even that is not a true reflection of what I'm doing. So I know what my local florist is selling small arrangements for. Things that would be maybe 65 or $75 in a little bit of a more metropolitan area are only $25 in my florist's cooler. So it gives you an idea of how prices vary region by region and doing your own research locally and knowing what customers in your area will be willing to pay because there's always gonna be somebody that says, oh, that's too much. And you're always gonna have someone who comment, you're undercharging. So you're never gonna make everybody happy, but if you know your area and you know your customers are willing to pay that, you probably are in the right region of prices. I found that my customers like to pay between 15 and $20 for a bouquet of flowers, and that's the price range that I like to stay in. You also have to take into consideration, you know, you're wrapping the bouquets, you're giving them flower food, you're a rubber band, all of those things cost money. So you have to really see what makes sense for you, how much it costs you 
to grow those flowers and get those flowers together and then make sure you're not losing money by underpricing your flowers. I am extremely comfortable with my price points. There are farmers around me who sell for more and there are farmers around me who sell for less. I'm somewhere in the middle and that's where I like to be. I do have some other things to share with you guys soon so hopefully I'll be back later in the week with something new from Flower Hill Farm. See you guys. What? I can't swing. Why? I can move the camera. Oh. Is that going to be your perch for the day? My perch? Yeah. For... for right now. Right now. Move the camera. Mama. You going to check your picture? I'm taking Well, I'm taking a video right now. Garage sale today and they couldn't. Oh my god, I love them! <laughs> Look at the Seattle. Yeah, kind of. Uh, there's Mr. and Mrs. Burn. There's a white silky right there. And here comes the black silky. They don't really like being held. Gotta be quicker than that. Oh, oh, no. Woo! <laughs> Poppies, poppies.